Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. I am coming in tonight with another Sunday Share catalog case. Hi Maggie, hi Brina, hi Julie. Welcome everyone. I'm just going to hold off for a couple more seconds. Hi Darlene, hi Carol. So glad you guys are here. So as I announced on my Facebook page within the last day or two, I am doing the Share What You Love catalog case tonight. Let me show you all four of these projects. And we are using the Love What You Do, uh, Share What You Love suite of products. Now, I did make a few changes. Because remember on the catalog, um, I'm casing projects. So I'm selectively editing tonight. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad you guys are all here. I love that you're all chiming in. So on these two projects right here, I'm going to do the card exactly like you see. I've already made that one. It's a really cute card, but I wanted this little treat box or gift box to coordinate. Um, so I, I changed the color. So I'm going to do the same box, but in a different color. So that way it makes a set of two. My next two projects, I did not have the gable box, I ran out. So I'm substituting the pizza box and I'm going to use the same stamps that they use on the box. And then we have the little card that coordinates along with the envelope. So I'm going to jump around just a little bit because we have embossing paste here that needs to dry. And then I've also spritzed the pizza box and that's going to need to dry. Now, just a reminder, because it's Sunday and I'm doing a share, I usually uh, do a door prize for all of the projects that you see tonight, and I'll do that tomorrow morning, but you need to share my video and you need to write in the comments that you shared so I'll know that you did that. So the first thing I'm going to do is use one of the pizza boxes and I'm going to color it with a spritzer. So let me go ahead and put some paper down. Now I need to put one up top here and it's going to be in front of my iPad. So I'm not going to be able to see you guys while I spritz. So you can keep talking. I just want to protect my area just so I won't get ink all over the place. Now what I've done in my spritzer, I filled it about three quarter inches, uh, three quarters of the way full with rubbing alcohol. And I added about 10 drops of the mint macaron ink. That's what I'm using for the color. Okay, so here comes the mess. So I'm just going to keep spraying. It is going to warp a little bit as I do this. And it dries really quickly because I am using rubbing alcohol. So see how easy it is to color one of our pizza boxes. And you would also be able to do this with the gable box also. Okay, let me just fill in the blank spots here. So you can see how it's rounded over a little bit. That's going to disappear once we um, assemble the box. Let me just get a tissue. I have a little bit here on the end that I'm just going to dab because it's running. And see how nicely that's drying already? So I'm going to put this aside and then we'll work on the embossing paste so that can dry also. So I'm kind of going um, a little bit back and forth. And let me see, now I can see you guys again. Okay, now I'm going to work on the little gift box. There is tissue in there. And we're going to do the background with the embossing paste. Now I am using the gift bag punch board to do this. If you guys have this and haven't used it a lot, the measurements for the cardstock, small is 10 inches, medium is 11, and large is 12. This is a medium box. So that means that I needed 11 inches long. 
and I cut it six inches wide. You can go as wide as you want on these. So I'm going to turn this sideways. We start on the start line and we're going to use the tool that came with the punch board. And then you just trace this little triangle and this line. And every time we're going to trace, we're also going to punch. And that shapes the flap on the end. Now I'm just going to move this aside just a little bit to do the horizontal line. I'm actually going to do the horizontal line all the way across. And then I have one more line to trace right here. So see how that makes your side, uh, side panel. Now I'm going to take the score line that uh, more towards the inside. I'm going to line that up with the little tail thing that's sticking right out here. And I'm making a medium box. So I'm going to go on the medium line. Now this is either the front or the back of your box. Remember that we moved over to score, so we're going to punch. And there's your first flap. Now we're going to move the most recent score line. Line it up again. Now we're doing the second side that has the little triangle shape. Punch. Move it over. Score line lined up. Medium. Punch. And then we're going to go to the last score line and punch. See how easy that was? And then what I normally do, this is the little tab on the end that's going to be glued. I just trim that at an angle so that when it folds and we glue it in place, it's a lot easier. So now before I do anything, I want to do my embossing paste. So I'm going to bring that in. Now I don't know if you noticed, the embossing paste is the same color as my cardstock. It comes in white. So I'm going to bring in a silicone mat. Just put a dab and then put the lid on. This dries fast, so make sure you keep the lid on. I'm going to bring in the reinker and I'm going to add just one drop of ink and then I'm going to stir that. It's just like coloring frosting. Now I think I want it a little bit darker so I'm going to add one more drop. So once we have this portion done plus um, the pizza box drying, everything else will go quickly. Okay, I like this color. So now you can see the color is exactly the same as the cardstock. I'm going to bring in my mask, which is this one that has little diamond shapes. I don't want to get any of the embossing paste on the two sides. So I'm going to add scrap up to the score line. Then I'm going to add my mask. I'm going to grab some and I won't even need everything that I've mixed. And I'm just going to spread it on there just like butter. And I'm not even being neat as far as everything being covered. I want some blank spots. And there you go. So let me show you that close up. Isn't that pretty? Now I get a little bit on the flap I'm going to remove. And one thing about this, you don't want to leave this sitting out. So I do have a tub of water right next to me that I'm going to put this in. So hold on. So I'm going to put this aside to dry and we'll work on the other two projects while these two um, projects dry for us. I'm going to bring in the card.
Remember that I have four projects tonight, so I need a little bit of room to move. So I've got stuff scattered here. Now the first thing I'm going to do, and I want to show you what I've done here with the embossing. I hope you can see it. I colored it white so that it really stands out. So I'm going to bring in the big shot so we can emboss the cardstock piece. And this is the florals embossing folder. And what I did is I actually embossed both corners. I'm gonna do one at a time. I am using a shim over mine. My Big Shot I think is, is wearing out. I think I need a shim on pretty much everything that I do now. So I've done one corner. I'm going to flip this over so I can do the second corner. And even though they overlap, we're going to cover the center anyway, so that won't even show. Okay, so you can see how they overlapped in the middle and some of it got flattened, but you won't be able to see that. Now I'm going to bring in my white ink pad, my white refill, and just add a little bit of ink in the lid. And then I'm going to use the blender pen to add white to the embossing. Now we're also going to have to let this dry. So three of the projects tonight we need to let dry. I'm hoping they're all going to be ready for the next step by the time I'm done some of the other steps. Now the white ink um, takes a little bit longer to dry than the other inks that we have, the classic inks. But see how, how neat that stands out when you add white to it? And you could actually do this with any of the ink pads. Now I won't have to color this whole thing. I'm just doing the edges. And let me see, I'll do a little bit of these two petals. And if I have some that I missed once I glue all the layers, I can always go back and touch them up. So the bumps are a really good guide to help you. And some of you are saying this is a good idea, but I stole it out of the catalog because remember I'm casing tonight, I'm copying. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this side And if I see this takes a little bit longer to dry, I can always dig my heat tool out to finish it up. Another thing I thought of, I don't know if it would work, but while the ink is wet, I'm wondering if we could sprinkle dazzling diamonds on the ink. I don't know how well that would work. I was thinking of that today. Okay, I'm almost done. I know some of you guys like to watch people color. You've told me that before. Just a few more bumps. Okay, so you can see the difference of what is not colored white and it does make a big difference, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside, another layer. Now let's work on the, the little three by three card. That one has no, nothing to dry on it. Okay, so let me see. I just need to emboss one more time with the Big Shot. Mm -hmm. 
And this time I want the little butterfly. It's a flower, but it kind of looks like a little butterfly. I want that to show up. Now I don't want any embossing below my score line, so I'm going to turn it this way. Let me see if I can figure this out. I'm not going to run the big shot all the way through. Okay, it's not working. My, um, my clear plates are bent. There we go. So I'm going to go about there. Now I'm going to add my shim because I forgot. And then we're going to fold that over. Now we've got a lot of little pieces here. I've gone ahead. Oh, I did forget to show you guys the designer paper I'm using today, which is the Share What You Love. I know some of you guys have seen it already. A lot of these sheets have the pearl, the shiny pearl to them. I'm using this one tonight. See all the shiny pearl on the flowers? And then we've got these sheets. And then when you flip them over, we've got different designs. Okay, so those are the 12 patterns. Now I've gone ahead and cut a little strip and this is three quarters of an inch wide. I'm going to glue that in place. Let me bring the card in. I'm not as organized tonight, seems like. It's hard to make little piles when you have four projects going and then you have to let some dry. So I hope everything's gonna work out okay. I'm going to introduce the inks as I use them too because we're using a lot of inks tonight. Now we're going to do the thank you. I'm only going to ink the word thank. And then Let me get my wipe. I forgot to get my chamois cloth out tonight. Now I'm going to just ink the word you and I'm doing this right on the edge of my ink pad. Okay, so that's how I took a straight line and split it in half so I could make it a vertical sentiment instead of a horizontal. Now I'm going to bring in some stamping dimensionals. Oh, you guys can't tell I'm not organized. I should take a picture of my counter when I'm done the video just to show you how bad it is. Okay, I've added four dimensionals on the back. So for those of you joining in late, don't forget to share so you um, qualify for the door prize at the end. Now I'm just going to add the silver baker's twine. I'm just going to do a couple loops. Okay, let me do one more. So it kind of looks messy on the back, but when you flip it over, it's really not. Okay, so that's all ready to be glued. Now I'm going to use my paper snips and cut out two of the flowers. And that's what's really neat about this designer paper. You can use a lot of the flower images instead of stamps. And I need one of the little greenery, so I'm going to cut this out at the same time. So you get to watch me cut again, fussy cut. I just love these flowers. It, it looks so good on this card. Can you see that shiny, the shiny pearl? It's just so pretty. 
Okay, I need one of these little flowers. Thanks for sharing, everyone that's sharing. And in order to win, you have to be from the US, I'm sorry to say. I had somebody ask me why the other day, because I've tried to mail stuff to other countries and the recipients never receive what I send out. So I just don't dare do it anymore. Okay, I just get this one to finish up and then one more flower and we'll glue all the pieces to this card. So I'm going to have one more class this week on Wednesday. And then I'm leaving for Alaska on the Stamping Up Incentive trip. And I won't be back until um, July 31st. So I'll try to have a class on that Wednesday. I have everything ready for the card I want to make. So I'm hoping to be with you guys um, the Wednesday that, I, that I'm back that week. But I'll have one more class this week on Wednesday for my Design with Debbie class. Um, at 8.30 tonight, you'll see the supplies that you'll need in case you want to stamp with me. And remember when I give you a list of supplies, you don't have to have the exact same stamp sets. You can uh, use something different if you don't have the same set. Okay, now let me glue all of these in place. And that'll be project number one. So I'm adding a flower in the top corner and one in the bottom. And then I'm going to press this in place. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue over the baker's twine to make sure that it's going to stay. And then we've got the little green flower. And we've got a little leaf down here. Okay, so that's the three by three card. So I've got that one all done. Now for the envelope flat. All you need to do when you're doing a flap like this is to add glue to the flap. And then you bring this over to the score line or the fold line. Whoops. And then all you do is cut it with your scissors. It just makes a really big difference. And if you have a lot of designer paper you wanna get rid of, this is the way to do it. Okay, so we've got one card with that envelope and one card with that envelope. So there's project number one. Now I'm going to bring in the pizza box. So that's almost completely dry. It's just got a little bit here and there, but that'll dry quickly. So let's go ahead and fold on all the score lines. And another way to co color your pizza boxes also is to use a sponge. You can sponge the color on. So you would bring in the little tabs fold in the front and it locks in place and then this one folds over okay that's how quick these are to put together you just fold everything now let me bring this in so what I did here is just a quick wash with the mint macaron ink And I'm using an aqua painter. Whoops, I didn't need to close that. Nice mess. Okay, I'm just gonna use the aqua painter, squeeze the barrel to get it wet. And I'm just gonna swish it across. Okay, and we're gonna let that dry. Now the flowers, what I've done is I've stamped it once and then I stamped it twice to cut these out. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. 
So these are the ones that I'm going to use to cut out. I'm going to use a blender pen again, but this time I'm going to use the ink lines to add color. So this is dry with no ink on it. I'm just using the ink lines from the image. And see how subtle that is? So that's all I'm doing for that. I'm just cutting, it gives it the watercolor look. So let me go ahead and cut these out. I'm sorry you have to watch me cut so much tonight. I think I have to cut on one more project too. So while I'm in Alaska, the first day that I get there, which will be on Friday, we get the holiday catalog, the upcoming holiday catalog. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And then we usually get a bunch of um, free products. We come home with a whole bunch of products. So that's pretty exciting too. They spoil us a lot on these trips. And then they'll have displays and we did some card swaps. Um, there was actually a card swap and a 3D swap and I just signed up for the card swap because I couldn't imagine traveling with 3D items. Okay, so that's the flowers. Now I'm going to bring in the Granny Apple ink. Let me just clean my stamp. And I'm going to stamp the flower. So all you're going to see of this is the actual stem because we're going to add these flowers on top. And let me get my mini dimensionals. Oh, I guess I need a new sheet. That one's almost empty. Oh, you guys don't mind watching somebody else cut. Mary says it's relaxing. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you guys aren't bored while I'm doing that. Rhonda, take an extra suitcase. Yes, what I usually do is I either put a backpack, and we usually get a bag too, some kind of a bag to put our stuff in. But I'm going to bring an extra suitcase just to put all my new goodies in. Okay, so those are the flowers. Now I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry and stamp the sentiment. Oh, I just, look, I had a mini dimensional right there on the paper. That's okay, I'll just put some bling there. And let's bring in the pizza box. Now the cardstock, um, I'm doing two layers of white. This one measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that's going to go right on the top. And then this one we're going to glue with stamping dimensionals. And because my paper is a little warped, I'm going to add a ton of them only because I want them to lay flat. So I've got nine dimensionals just on this tiny little piece. And this one measures three by three. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to add a little bling there, maybe a little flower to cover that. I think what I'll do is, is um, just stamp another one of these single flowers and add it right here. Okay, so there's my little pizza box. So this would be set number one. You've got the card and the pizza box. And you could actually put the card on the inside with the gift too if you wanted to do it that way. Okay, now let's see if the embossing, yep, the embossing paste is dry. So let's work on that one next. Because I think the white ink is still drying. 
So let me bring that in. Now, what I'm going to do with the box, I am going to glue the sides together, but I'm not going to glue the flaps on the bottom because whoever wins this, I need to be able to mail it flat. So I'm just going to fold everything over. And I won't um, glue the bottom. So you can see how quickly the embossing paste dries. It's really neat how quick that is. Okay, now I'm going to bring in some tear and tape. Oh, thanks, Gloria. She says she would never be bored watching me. That's awesome to hear that. Okay, now I'm going to remove the backing. Now an easy way to glue this down is to actually fold the part with the glue down and then you fold the other one right over it. See how quick? And normally I would fold this over, add a little bit of glue to the small flaps, fold this one over, add glue here and fold this one over. But like I said, I want to be able to mail this to the person that wins the door prize. Now let me get my other layers. So for this one, we've got the pearl doilies. And I'm using the sentiment that says, I'm lucky to have you, to have a friend like you. I'm using blushing bride first. And I'm going to ink the whole stamp. Then I'm going to bring in the rich razzleberry and go halfway. And we now have a two-tone sentiment. Isn't that cool? I'm going to cut that out with the two and a quarter inch circle punch. And then let's see, we have two banners. This one measures four inches by two inches. So I'm going to slide this in and cut the end off. So there's banner number one. Banner number two is four inches by three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to center that. So there's banner number two. So what else do we need? We need a couple more flowers. Okay, this time I'm going to cut let me see, I need two that are stuck together. Let me try these two right here. So I've used quite a few different flowers on, on all of these projects and they're all from the designer paper. That's why I say this paper is really neat. It's funny too because when I make my local girls fussy cut, there's always one or two that don't that just don't like to fussy cut. Okay, I need that. And oh actually I need one more for the top. So let me just get a single one. And it's just a partial, so even though there's a piece of it missing on the end, it's still going to work. Oh, thanks, Jewel, for the well wishes on the trip. I know we're going to have a good time. There's so much to do in Alaska and on the cruise ship, too. Okay, now I need a green. Let me see, two greens. And then this Bermuda Bay um, flower. So I wasn't sure if I should have cut some of this ahead of time, but... It's really not taking me that long to cut. So I hope you guys don't mind. And I'm really not uh, being perfect about all these little crevices here. 
because once you have everything tucked in, it kind of just melds together well. There's one green. And then I think I just need two little flowers after that. Oh, thanks, Dixie. You like the pizza box. I think they're so quick to decorate. When you need something quick for a little gift or a gift card, I just love how quick you can put them together and just slap something on the top. Okay, now let me see if I can find some little flowers. I need to get one more piece of... Actually, instead of doing the little blue ones, I can add some of these little green ones. I'll do two green ones instead. So there's one. And let me see, I'll do this one right next to it. So then all we have left to do is the card that I colored with the white ink. Okay. Now let's get glue in. Um, stamping dimensionals on the large banner. And I'll show you guys all of the projects when I'm done too. I'll, I'll lay them all up here like I usually do. Rhonda, it's good to see how you are picking and choosing on the designer paper. Well, you know what? There's so many flowers to pick from, really, that you don't have to stick with the same ones. Let me go a little bit lower on this. I forgot I have a flower at the top. Okay, now I'm going to tuck one in the top corner. And then we're going to glue the Rich Razzleberry Banner. And then the little um, doily is going to be glued on with Stamping Dimensionals. And we're going to have um, the sentiment over this so it doesn't matter if they show through. And did you guys know that I like to tell you tips as I'm, I'm working here. The underside of the pearl doily is white and you can sponge the color on that too to make it a different color. Okay, I'm going to press that in place. Add the sentiment. And then all we need to do is glue the flowers. Now on these, they're going to overlap off to the side a little bit. Now, where are my mini dimensionals? Right here. Nope, these are the big ones. Here's my little ones. So I'm going to add dimensionals just on the very end, just so they'll, uh, they'll glue right here where they're not flat. That's going to go right here. There's a little green leaf or branch, I should say. There's another branch. And then we'll add this little flower right here. And then we got two more flowers to glue and this one will be done. I think I'm going to like the way that looks with the green flowers too. Okay, this one's going to be tucked. And then this one goes on top. Okay, so pretend that I've glued the flaps down. So this would be my box. Okay, so that's project number three. Now, let me see if the ink, the ink is still a little wet. So maybe as we do the other layers, 
it'll keep drying. And if not, I just won't glue everything together. That way, um, whose ever name I pick, it'll be dry by the time I do that. Now, let me get my layers for this card. And you know what? I used my white piece that I had cut out. So let me get another white piece. I just need to measure that. Now this one measures three by three and a half. I think I used it on the pizza box and I wasn't supposed to. Now I'm going to fold this on the score line. Oh, what a mess I've got going here. Now I am going to go ahead and glue this down um, just so you'll know how I did it. I'm just going to add the dimensionals on the card base. That way I won't get uh, my fingers into the white ink. Whoops. I think I can actually finish the card because the next layer to the white ink layer is um, glued with stamping dimensionals also. I didn't think the white ink would take this long to dry. Oh, Marianne, I'm so glad to hear that you learn a lot from what I show you. Um, I love showing beginners. Okay, so let me just tap this down. So you see the difference instead of gluing this flat, if you do it with stamping dimensionals, it stands out a lot more. Now the next layer is mint macaron and that measures three and a quarter by three and three quarter. I'm going to bring in the white ink and it was probably hard for you to see, but I went around the edge of the whole ma uh, mint macaron layer with this little flower stamp. It almost makes it look like designer paper. And the center is going to be covered, so we don't need to worry about the center. And the only thing is it does take a little bit longer to dry, so we'll just have to be careful where I put my fingers. So this one is glued in place with dimensionals. And then all we have left to do is the, um, the large sentiment on the front. Okay, so this is glued nice and straight and in the center. Okay, so you see how the white, whoops, the white really stands out. You can really see it pop once you add the mint macaron in place. Now let's finish off by doing the sentiment layer. And I'm using Bermuda Bay. Oops, I got the wrong one. Where is the one with the friend. I almost made a boo-boo. And let me see if I can find something dark so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, there's that one. So I'm actually combining two sentiments. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Thank you. And now let's bring in the little flower image and the little leaf image. Now I need the granny apple and the blushing bride. So I'm just going to add a leaf right there another one here and then just a few clusters of the flower flowers plural okay and that's all i'm doing for that now my corners 
I did a little snip on each corner using the half inch circle punch. Uh, Tammy, I'm using baby wipes only because I usually use chamois cloths and I forget to bring them to my counter. I don't normally use uh, baby wipes because um, some of them I find can be damaging to your stamps. Now, see, I'm not going all the way in, but I'm making my own little corner with a circle punch. So you could do this with any size of the circle punch. You could make them bigger using the bigger ones. Now, let me glue this in place. Now this one, I'm going to tilt a little bit to angle it. And then lastly, I've already gone ahead and made a bow. And the, the way I usually glue my bows, okay, I can't find my glue dots. I have a major mess going on here, a major hot mess. Okay, I won't be able to glue that, I can't find my glue dots. I usually just take a glue dot and I run it um, like this through my fingers to scrunch it up and then I would glue it in place right there. So there's project number four. So, so let me bring all my projects in. There's number one. Then we have the pizza box. The little three by three card. And then we have the gift box, which I didn't glue the flaps down so I could mail it to a winner. So if you guys go ahead and share and I'll do the drawing tomorrow for all four of these projects. And thanks for the love. I love seeing all those little hearts going by. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys uh, here on Wednesday for my Design with Debbie at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Have a good Sunday, everyone, and thanks for coming to Stamp With Me. Good night.